Hey guys, what's up? I'm just going to show you guys another little video here. Gonna open up Photoshop. And you're going to go to File, New, and set your background to whatever you like. Mine's 1440 by 900, so we'll press OK. Now what you're going to want to do is, I personally add a new layer. Delete the background. We're only going to be dealing with one layer today. And so what we're going to do going to fill it up with white, just your normal slate white. I'm going to go in there, 18 size, circle brush, doesn't really matter. I'm just going to start making lines. This will make sense in a minute. I'm going to go to filter, blur, radial blur. We're going to go to spin and we're going to set the amount to 10. Press OK. You see we have a nice little effect right there, but not enough detail for Photoshop to work with later. So I'm going to add another one. As we continue doing this, this is giving Photoshop more to work with and the filters will, will apply later. So you'll see what I mean. We're going to add, I have three right now, I'll probably add three more. You can do anywhere from six to ten if you'd like depending on your amount of detail that you want in your image. This is looking good. And again, it doesn't matter with your balance because we're going to do some filters and stuff. And you won't really notice that. There we go. Now from there we've got pretty good shading effect kind of so we're gonna go to blur radial blur except set the amount to 100 this time and select OK this is gonna give us kind of a circle effect in the center with a fading out effect as we go out and there we are and if you'll press Command I on your keyboard, Control I for Windows, you'll see we invert the colors and we have a pretty neat little effect, but not what we want. So we're going to go to Stylize, Extrude, and you can set it to standard. I'll show you both. Here's Pyramids. Uh, some people may like it. I don't really like it. And then here's Blocks. We're going to go with Blocks because it kind of casts a nice shadow, good effect. And so. What we're going to do from here, go into our image adjustments, color balance, and you can set it whatever color you'd like. I personally like green, so we're going to go with green and select OK. Now we're going to go to filter, render, lighting effects. And here you'll see this thing right here. This is the lighting. Wherever you put it, it's going to cast that light in the angle that you tell it. We'll put it in the center for a nice little effect there. And select OK. So you can see it's not directly in the center, but that's OK right now. So, we're going to go to Filter, Stylize, and Find Edges. Once again, it inverts it back to white. But you see we have a really nice looking effect here. Let's invert it. You see we have a very nice look here. And you can keep this, or you can keep going. This looks pretty good. I might keep it, but let's keep going for the sake of the video. So we're going to go to Artistic, Fresco, and you'll see this preview here. Now, set your brush size to 10, brush detail to 10, texture to 1, and select OK. You can see we've got a really nice effect though. It's a little dark, so we'll add another light. Once again, you can mess with it how you'd like. I'm going to move this little light over to balance out that earlier. There we go. As you can see, this lurk works really well, so we'll keep that done. And if you hear the dog in the background, ignore him. It's a quick plug in on my blog. I have a tutorial for this written out. And I have a bunch of other backgrounds. There's a cool Converse tag type poster. And there's my own background right there and my YouTube channel. What now I've only got one but I will be adding more later. This is the one for today. 
I may add another one. I don't know. So I'll see you guys later, and thanks for watching.